wanted to, to say a couple of words just about how to actually hold the otoscope because it's, it's really important. And just as an ophthalmoscopy, you, you know, here you, you examine the left ear with your left hand and the right ear with, with, with your right hand. Um, and essentially you hold the otoscope as if you're holding a pen. And I just tend to stick my little finger out and that will rest on the patient's cheekbone. Um, and so, so there's this rests on the side of the patient's face and that's useful because it gives you very fine control as, you, as if you're writing. And also, um, just as importantly, if the patient suddenly moves the head, um, this actually moves with the head and doesn't damage the, the lining of their ear canal. So well, I'm just going to uh, pop this uh, speculum in now into Russell's ear. I'm going to perform otoscopy to look into patients' ears. Um, this is the otoscope or oroscope, and this is the bit that we attach onto it. This is known as the speculum. So I'll just. So that's now attached. And if we just swivel this round, the light should now come on, so we're ready to go. Um, and so we use otoscopy to basically look um, inside the ear canal and get a good view of the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. But before we. Um, go ahead and, and pop this inside someone's ear. We need to examine the external ear first. So I'll show you how to do that during this uh, procedure. Hi, my name's Milan, I'm a first year medical student. Hello. Hi. Um, I need to have a look in, inside your ear today. Is, is that okay? That's fine. Great, so I need to have a look at the outside of your ear first. Just check, check everything's okay. Does it hurt anywhere? on your ear or around your ear? No. Okay. I'm just going to press over this bone here, which is called the mastoid bone. Does that hurt at all? No. We check for mastoid tenderness because that's a sign of mastoiditis. Um, if mastoiditis is present and left untreated, that can lead to meningitis, which, as you know, can be fatal. having a good look around the external ear, which is also known as the penna. Um, it's also worth just pressing on the, uh, the tragus here, just next to the opening of the canal. If that's present, if that tragal tenderness is present, then that might mean that there's an infection inside the ear. So, so right, so I'm just going to have a look inside your ear now. I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to hold onto the top of your ear and just gently pull it um, uh, upwards and backwards, if that's all right. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this in. Just let me know if it hurts at any point, and I'll stop. It's important to note when you're passing the, the speculum into the ear canal, try and get a good view of the whole canal, um, and look for things like: is there any discharge inside? Is it red and inflamed? And then you can see the ear drawn tympanic membrane just sitting in front of you at the end. When you're choosing the speculum at the start. Pick the, the size that's actually um, pick the size that's largest um, that will actually fit into the ear because that will give you the best view of the tympanic membrane. And you'll have to adjust and move the speculum around because you won't be able to see the whole of the eardrum um, in, in just one shot. Wow.